leading Britain's conversation. Ian Dale, tweet at LBC. 10 to 8. Now, social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter will be forced to take terrorist content off their sites within an hour or face multi-million pound fines under EU proposals. God, I agree with them. Uh, Julian King, the British Security Commissioner in Brussels, said there had been a shift in the nature of terror attacks with people being increasingly radicalised and then receiving instructions online. Well, let's talk to Yair Cohen, who is a solicitor specialising in social media law. Uh, quite a dramatic step, this, but could it be implemented? It could be implemented. Hello, uh, Hi. Yeah. Uh, it could be uh, certainly implemented. It's been going on for some time now. I think the proposal first was uh, suggested back in 2017. Um, and there has been uh, uh, quite a bit of research that concluded that terrorist content is not dangerous during the first couple of hours of its publication. Uh, the question is, uh, is this a practical measure? Uh, the answer is probably yes, provided internet companies decide to invest a little bit more in uh, moderating content. And do you think that they're willing to? What's their reaction to this been today? The, the proposal was first published on, on the uh, press release uh, about six months ago, and my understanding is the social media companies are getting actually ready, and they are taking this very, very seriously. Uh, back in February, I attended uh, a conference in Santa Barbara with representatives of uh, Facebook and Twitter and, and, and the rest of them. And I was shocked to hear about this small number of uh, uh, people who moderate content for Facebook, for example. It was less than 1,000 people across the, across the world really? who moderate content. That's clearly not enough. My understanding is that they are gearing up now and they are taking those proposals very, very seriously. Because you would have thought that any company which cared about its international reputation would have done this off their own bat, done it voluntarily. <laughs> the, the idea was that uh, uh, social media companies uh, uh, take care first, uh, same as any other company, uh, of their shareholders. And as we know, uh, shareholders' profit is pr pr paramount for many of those companies. It is a government's...